How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up watch folders inside of Adobe Media Encoder. This is one of the coolest features about Media Encoder. It allows you to drop a clip on a shared network drive on one computer and have a whole nother computer do the work for you. I use this for transcoding our footage, whether that's 8K or 4K, and then I also have it export our Premiere projects. I'm going to walk you through the process today, show you how to set it up, and how to use it. First thing we want to do is find a folder that we want to be able to put our source clips. In this case, I'm using a Mac Pro, which is located in a whole different room, which does all of my rendering for me. I have an Evo drive on here, which is a shared drive that I access over the network, over 10 gigabit. And inside of video projects, I have a watch folder. I have two watch folders, one for transcoding, one for exporting. You can probably guess what those are. So what we need to do is just make blank folders. You can name them whatever you want. I just named them what I'm going to use them for. Just empty folders, nothing in them. That's all we need. Now we head back to Media Encoder. Inside of the queue, there should be a tab called Watch Folders. Then all we do is we click the plus button. We select the source of our watch folder. Then we will select our codec and then our format. And that's it. You can change where you want it to output to. I like to output it where the folder is. Makes sense. There's a folder that automatically generates called output when you do set up a watch folder. Now we have that set up. Let's go ahead and drop a clip inside of transcode and let's watch it do its work. So here I am on my main Mac, which has the remote shared drive mounted right here. So inside of watch folder, I have one called transcode. So I'll open that up. There's an output and a source. All you have to do is just drop your clip into the top level of your folder. So my folder is called transcode. I just drop a clip in here. When it's done transcoding that, it's going to put the final in the output folder. It's going to put the original in the source. So you may want to delete your source folder every once in a while. But here we go. We just have a clip right here. And all we have to do is just drag this into here. It's there. Now if we open this up, give it a second and it will then begin processing that watch folder. And there you go, a few seconds later, it showed up and it started doing its job and now it's done. So if we go back to our computer, we see that the clip we just dragged in is gone. Well, it's now inside of source and we have a folder called our date. And here's the original clip. Now, if we wanna see what it did, we go to our output and then there you go. There is our transcoded clip ready to be edited with. The same thing works for projects. If we go to our export, all I have to do is drag in a Premiere project file. No source clips, no nothing. Just drag in the file project that you use when you edit. Just drag that in here and it will export it for you. It'll recognize that it's a project and not a clip and it'll be able to do all that magic for you with the sequence. So anyway, that is all. I hope this video helped you out. I use this all the time. It's really awesome and it's super easy. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'll be doing my best to help you out. If you like this video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.